When pure simplicity combines with ultimate craftsmanship, you are left with something truly beautiful. HMOSER and C know this world better than anybody and have worked tirelessly on this combination for many years, finding the perfect balance between the two and sometimes pushing each boundary beyond what the industry thought possible. H. Moser and C was found in 1828 in Switzerland by Heinrich Moser and was well known for his involvement in the industrialization of Schaffhausen. It is estimated that he produced around half a million watches in his lifetime. Today, Moser is one of the few independent, family owned, and run watch companies in existence. And most importantly, Moser ensures complete integration among their manufacturing, a feat that very few can possibly claim. With the boom of independent brands now, it may seem that Moser is just another brand that is off to the races and prices becoming more and more ridiculous by the next wave of auctions. The reality is very different. Whilst priced accordingly for their complication and hand-built nature, they aren't yet receiving the same boom as most of the others. An emphasis is on the word yet. Whilst no one has a crystal ball and we cannot predict what is going where, what I can tell you is people are starting to wake up to Moser, and rightfully so. Today, I am delighted to be taking not only a closer look at the H. Moser and C. Endeavour Sensor Seconds, reference 1200-0409, but also bringing this watch to sale at kibblewatches.co.uk. If you have followed Moser for any length of time, these few May dials will be instantly recognisable as Moser. They've perfected this dial and pushed many boundaries with it. The dial, which Moser has called a funky blue fume, has decided to triple down on their strengths and removed any indices and logo, leaving it perfectly clean and simple with just the hands present. And whilst we're discussing the hands, let's take a closer look. Moser has beautifully finished these beveled leaf style hands with a strikingly thin second hand, perfectly legible against the constantly adapting dial. All of this is housed in a 40mm 18 karat red gold case, the perfect hue of gold that is both vibrant yet warm and works beautifully with the bluey green of this Fume dial. Coming in at 47.5mm lug to lug, it wears compact on the wrist and really will fit those with as small as a 6.25 inch wrist. I have a 6.75 quarter, nearly 7 inch wrist for reference. At only 10.5mm thick, it wears low on the wrist, and this is only emphasised with the flanks of the case featuring a unique cut that flows from the lugs to the crown, all adding depth and character to an already beautiful case. At 3 o'clock, you're presented with the Moses iconic M signed crown with deep knurling that allows for easy use when winding or setting the time. Flipping the watch over, you're instantly hit with the complete opposite of what the dial presents, from simplicity to a marvel of Moser's engineering ability with the caliber HMC200. This movement is also present in the Pioneer lineup, but in this Endeavour case, it allows for a cleaner and more elegant aesthetic. Featuring three days of power reserve and an 18 karat gold rotor with a bi-directional pull winding system, this movement is no simple feat, it is a beautiful and functional movement. All of this is rounded off with a brown leather strap from Moser and what could possibly be one of the most beautiful buckles yet made. Again, drawing simplicity and function. No corners have been cut in the design and manufacturing of this elegant timepiece. And a spare strap is also provided within the box. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this timepiece below in the comment section. For me, personally, this watch captures everything I love about elegant and simple dress watches, but takes it that step further and brings a real modern twist to what could be, and should be, an instant classic. So head on over to kibblewatches.co.uk today to view this incredible timepiece along with so many more, and arrange your viewing in our London offices.